Hello, this is the second problem of homework 8. So, determine the y bar of the centroid of the beam's cross sectional area. Neglect the size of corner wells at A and B for calculations. So, let's just complete our circles here. So, here I'll follow the same strategy you did. Here will be my point zero zero, and then I'll build my charge. So I have my area, I have my y bar for each charge, and then I have my area one, two, and three. Now I know that my area will be one, two, and three. So my area one is p times 50 square over four and my y bar is half of my diameter, 25 millimeters. Number two, I know my area is 110 times 15. And then my y bar will be 50 plus 55. 55 is 110 divided by two is half. And my third area is pi times 35 square over 4. And then my y bar will be 50 plus 110 plus the radius of my surface is 17.5. Now we can do sum of areas times the y bar of my piece is equal a1 times y bar 1 plus a2 times y bar 2 plus a3 times y bar 3. So we know the y bar will be. So I have pi times 50 square over 4 times 25 plus. 110 times 15 times 105 plus pi times 35 square over 4 times 177.5 divided my area pi times 50 square over 4 plus 110 times 15 plus pi times 35 square over 4. It will give us a y bar of value 85.91 millimeters because we didn't change any units. So for our final answer, using three sig figs will be 85.9 millimeters starting from this point zero zero up so this is our second question of homework eight.